Hello everyone, welcome to Dev Jamin. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create multi pages in React by using React Router. So let's go to React Router website. Uh, ReactRouter.com Right now it's version 6.4 So I want you to go to tutorial over here and then it will show you how to install it So you can copy this command, copy only this one npm install react router dom Copy it and then go back to Visual Studio Code We are going to stop react service over here Type yes and then paste the command over here npm install react router dom Hit enter. All right, after you have installed React Router DOM, you go to package.json. You will see React Router DOM over here. Okay, the next thing that I want to do is to integrate React Router DOM to our React application. Let's go to index.js over here and then go back to this tutorial. I have read this tutorial already, so I'm going to show you how to integrate React Router DOM into React right now. So you just import these three components to your application from React Router DOM. So copy this one, go back here, and then paste this over here. Okay. The next thing you have to do is to create router to specify each route in your website by using create browser router. All right, copy this one, paste this over here. This creates browser router is import this over here. All right, we get the first route over here. So we have to integrate this router to our application. Okay, what can we do? So we use router provider and then we include router inside. So we use this one. So I'm going to remove app over here. So then I'm going to use router provider and then we uh, pass in router and we pass this router okay we save okay next we can run npm start okay our application is running right now when it's finished loading you will see hello world over here hello world is is this one in our code okay so how can include app in this one so we just include app directly over here instead of put app over here we move it in here so this is the path which is the url over here so this path right we get this one all right so how about we create another pages so i'm going to create a folder over here inside source i create no folder and name is pages okay and inside here i can create block page block.js okay rfce hit enter i have block component over here so i can include a uh, navbar over here so let me import navbar component okay we got we have navbar component all right then we include navbar over here and here we can create div and then we put block page okay save okay right now we get get this page but this page is not in our application yet we have to integrate it over here so we have to specify the path copy this one put here the path is block right and the component that we want to load when the user access this url we want to load block page which is here uh, let me change this one to block page block page okay and this one i'm going to change this one to block page page and go back to index uh we have to import uh block page import block page okay then we load block page over here so when we access this url it's going to load this component click on block over here see we got block page or we can enter URL directly if we click on home but you see that this is not a single page application because every time we click on the link it refresh the page so how can we stop it to refresh the page 
So we have to use link instead of a tag or angle tag. Okay, we go to component and we go to navbar. You will see we use a tag right now. We have to use link. So where can I get link? Uh, link is over here. It's component link. It's come with React router. So we can import it like this. So we copy it, paste it over here, or you can type it directly over here import link from react router dom so how to use this we remove this one so we call it link and then we put block over here this is what show on the website but this is the path we, we link is to block okay when we go back here if i go to home it still refresh the page but if i go to block it doesn't refresh the page so we have to chain home as well. So just copy this one and put this over here. So I put it like this and put home over here. Save. And when I click home here, see, this doesn't refresh the page anymore. So how about contact page? How can I create contact page? Right now we have set up everything completely. Creating other pages is going to be very easy. For example, I go to pages, right click, new, contact, page. Okay, I app, CE, hit enter. And we can copy this one. Okay. Put this like this. And we have to import navbar as well. Put navbar over here. This is going to be contact. Okay, we get contact page. Don't forget we have to add this page into index.js. Copy this one, paste it over here. Then put contact. Okay. Import contact page over here. Import contact page. And then load contact page over here. Okay, save. So if we go here, we type contact. So it's load contact page. Alright, what next? We have to change this uh, link, right? Because right now it's just anchor tag. Uh, let's go to navbar. Remove this one. Copy this one. And put contact over here. This is going to be contact. Save. Okay. You can see it works perfectly. All right, what's next I can do? As you can see here, the code over here is repetitive. You see block page, the code is almost the same so how can we reduce the code we are going to use layout so let me create layout folder over here layout so i can create here new uh, main layout dot js so i app c okay i can copy the layout from here just copy this one put this over here and we have to import now bar Okay, let me format document. Okay, and this one is where the content appear. Okay, instead of put content directly in this div, in main layout, we put children. Okay, curry based children. And over here, we put children in parameter in function okay it's going to be like this we are going to pass children and show children over here in block page instead of coding like this we are going to import main layout okay and we can use main layout as a parent layout as a parent component okay main layout then we pass children which is information that we want to show inside main layout in children over here okay we pass this div inside here and remove this one let's format document okay it's going to be like this and if you go to contact you do the same but you have to import main layout let me copy main layout over here so we don't need a navbar inside block page anymore we can remove it and this one just import main layout and this one needs to be contact uh, let's format 
document. It's warning that route is defined but never used. We can remove route from here. Mm, here. Okay, let's go back here. See, it's work the same. But we have layout over here. So if we change anything in layout, every page is going to change. For example, if I want to add sidebar div, here is sidebar. Okay, you can see that blog page has sidebar and contact page has sidebar. You can even use this main layout in app.js as well. It's going to be the same, just import uh, main layout. Okay, you can remove navbar over here. And over here, we can use our main layout as a parent layout. Okay, main layout. Okay, then we copy all content over here, cut it, paste it over here, and we can remove this one. Okay, let's format the document. Save. Okay. All right, everything worked the same and it works perfectly. All right, this is all about this video. If you like this video, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and comment down below.